The role audit committees play in our financial markets is more important than ever. While the responsibilities of audit committees continue to expand and evolve, the oversight of a company's financial statements and the external auditor is one of the most critical. Investors rely on accurate financial statements to make sound investing decisions, which is why the Sarbanes-Oxley Act requires audit committees to disclose whether a financial expert serves on the committee. Finding a good definition for a financial expert is, I believe, very difficult because it's not just a check the box, where did you work and for whom did you work and what did you do. It has a lot to do with attitude about how you view financials and how you have a healthy understanding of not just how the financials are produced, but who's reading the financials and coordinating with the SEC reporting the Q's, the K's, and all of the narrative that goes with it. I think the role of the financial expert is important. It allows us to have someone that we can draw upon to um, make sure that we are understanding the intricacies of, the, of a particular financial issue. But what makes someone a financial expert? According to SEC rules, to qualify as an audit committee financial expert, a person must have, through education or experience, each of the following attributes. An understanding of generally accepted accounting principles and financial statements. The ability to assess the general application of such principles. Experience preparing, auditing, analyzing, or evaluating financial statements, or experience actively supervising one or more persons engaged in such activities an understanding of internal controls and procedures for financial reporting, and an understanding of audit committee functions. The definition of a financial expert is rather broad, and there are a number of different criteria that are applied, so that quite a number of people with a breadth of experience fall under that uh, definition. Um, I think, at a minimum, there needs to be someone on the audit committee that understands financial reporting, understands auditing, and can ask the tough questions of management and of the independent auditors about those topics. So somewhere in that audit committee, notwithstanding the formal definition of an audit committee financial expert, there, in my view, there needs to be uh, someone who understands that. That expertise can come from being a member of the profession, a CPA. It can come from being a CFO of a public company and signing financial statements. And it comes as a CEO who has responsibility for the overall financial organization and performance of their company as part of the roles of CEO. So it's not just one particular background that creates the audit committee financial expert composition on the audit committee. According to 2015 proxy statements, most S&P 500 audit committees have more than one financial expert. 18% reported having two experts, and 51% had three or more experts. But veteran audit committee chairs generally agree that, while financial experts are critical, a diversity of skill sets are as important. An audit committee should not rely solely on that financial expert, because that, quite frankly, that's why you have an external auditor. They are there to help explain to you and help educate you as an audit committee on those intricacies as it relates to your particular company. We shouldn't get into the trap of thinking that the audit committee financial expert, once they understand it, that the rest of the audit committee can just simply wipe our hands of it and say, Joe understands it, we're fine. The audit committees that I work with, we look for some diversity of experience and background. So we want people with operating experience. We may want people that may have some legal background, as well as people with the traditional accounting and auditing skills you'll get a completely different set of questions from people that come from those different perspectives, and that makes for a richer uh, and I think a more full uh, uh, effort by the audit committee to do our job. I think it's a function of uh, oftentimes how well you know the industry, and from that you will have an understanding of what the critical judgments and estimates are, and you'll even have an intuitive sense of what an acceptable range of assumptions and methodology and, and rationale. I may be in a, a little bit different camp than many. I think it's the ability to ask, to listen to complex areas, distill them down in your own mind, and then ask the right question. The question that ultimately gets to the heart of the issue. 